No, I'm asking you because you seem friendly and outgoing and you seem to know about the place, so... Yeah, this one. There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Right, go and talk to Gendar then. Are the escape pods? Well, I know where they are. I need to ask that again, do I? Um... Yeah. He'll be somewhere in the village. Really? I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. And what about Rukil? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. That's the children old. children laugh at him and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the promised land, but he's really just a kind old man. What is the promised land? Go on then. Humor me. It's it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have though. If you really want to learn more about the promised land, you should speak to Rukil. I'll be going by. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything or if you just feel like talking, come no. back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Bless her. Alright. Yeah, I gave those goons the five credits because it was only five credits and the last thing I want to do is come around here creating a uh, disturbance. So, there's a gate there. And a person. An outcast healer. Oh, well, my friend is hurt, actually. Can you help Wait, us? Wait, upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. You can't tell me where I can and can't go. Um, what's through it? The villagers infected with the Rukgul disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. Right. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep <clears> the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into Rukguls, we'll let them destroy each other. I don't care. Um, bye. <laughs> Farewell. It's, oh, my journal entries I did great. Now I get to heal some wreck calls I don't care about. Oh, hello. You're just the person I want to talk to. Wait a minute. Yeah, you. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Nice. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? No. I will help you however I can. Thanks. I'm looking for some people, though. Yeah. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Yeah. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times. Twi'lek. I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How do I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. They would be. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed. Unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Let's ask him some more. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Alright, yeah, what are these Rakuls? The Rakuls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. Oh. We know of no cure for the disease, ah. and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. I can understand that. Ask your question. Hmm. Other upworlders? Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Right, yeah. Ask your uh, okay, what uh, right. Why do you live down here in the undercity? Why do you live in this this slum hole? We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village. As my father was, and as was his father before him. 
Many of us have been here for generations. Our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants. But somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. Well done. Bye. What a horrible way to live it is, but, you know, gotta make of it, I guess. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village and I will do my best to help you however I can. What's the other bloke? Hundred years old, you say? You? You come from the world above? Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled prophecies? Be careful. This will not be crazy enough to be dangerous. Yep. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. If you shut up and let me get a word in, I could. Maybe I can ask you some questions. You're obviously an insane old kook. Um, he obviously is. But I need information. Question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinklesken, the children call me sometimes. Get to the point. Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. I don't really know. I'd have this nonsense by. <laughs> Please, a moment, Upworlder. I must know if you are the one I have been waiting for. Please, I beg for your help. My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find. Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. I will probably just say, yeah, yeah, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll like, I'm trying to get rid of him right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to say, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'll find her. I'll find her. Just to get him off my back. So, yes, I will help you with it. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. Great. More journal entries. All right. Do we have a map of this place? No, we don't. Guess we'll have a little look around then. Can I get in these? Nope. Hey, sexy voice. Hester, that's a new name. Let's talk to you. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming. Boy, he'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! I... I can't! The raccoons are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It Ew. isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hendar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate. Not while the rat ghouls are so near. Yikes. Hmm. Oh, why? I can't, I can't, I can't not help. I just can't do it. I can't, I can't. I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm not going to stand by and watch it happen. 
I will kill them. I'm gonna kill them. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again.